Hello and welcome to today's video. You don't get to see my beautiful face today. You get to see the beautiful monstrosity known as the Spooky 2 software. So look at this. It's fun. Look at all these different things. Ooh, look at all of this. So, undoubtedly one of the most difficult pieces of software to learn. I'm going to show you how I build a Spooky 2 program. So, let me start off by saying, whenever you use the Spooky 2, it's suggested that you do the 11 day terrain protocol. So this is a protocol that comes with, comes with the software, or it's not something you have to make, it's been built already. So you just go to detox. We're going to look at remote today because I'm doing a, I'm offering this as a, as a remote program. So I'm having to join me for this. And then you can find it in here. So this is a program that's already built. So you can see down here what we've got included in it is remove metals, chemical materials, chemical materials one or two. We've got this big list of things that are already that have already been created. And this is an 11 day program that will do all of these over the span of 11 days. You can see what day you can see what's going to be being done which day by the number here. So this is happening on day one. Here is happening on day two, day three. Day four, so and so, so and so, all the way up until day 11. So, this day 11 is these two. So, before you do any kind of custom program on the Spooky 2, it's suggested that you go through one full terrain profile. So, this is one full 11 day cycle of all of these frequencies, at least one. And this is why, before I offer to do any group programs with anybody, or before I offer a custom program, it is a pre is a prerequisite that I, I make you go through this. is what the software suggests. This is what the, the company that designed this technology and software suggests you do. So it just makes sense to just do it. So whenever I offer a group program, this always comes as a, as a prerequisite or I add it in it. So in this circumstance, when I'm running this, so I'm running a six week program, we're going to start for the first 11 days running through this. This is cool for me because it opens up possibility of people joining me for this program if they've never used the software before, they've never used it. So I'm including this in, as part of that base level pack. So the first 11 days are going to be run through like this. This is very easy for me to do. All I need to do is just basically click here, my the controls, override the generator, load the generator up and start. And then I just have to leave it running for 11 days. Very easy for me to do because I don't actually have to make the program. It's already, it's already created. I'm using a program that came with the with the, with the software. All I have to do is keep the generator running. If we have any technical faults, I have to manage it. And obviously I can't use the generator for 11 days. So when we're, what I'm doing today is I'm creating a sort of a level up. So this programs get great because it covers like the basic toxic compounds that you're exposed to. So metals, mercury, aluminium, uh, different types of toxic metals and chemical materials, you've got things like plastic, pesticides, um, systemic toxins one and two, I believe you have mold, mycotoxins, things like that. And then you come down, you've got intestinal toxins. So these would be things like lipopolysaccharides, systemic toxins three, that's going to cover more of the, there's a lot of different toxins in systemic toxins one, two, and three. So you, if you think like, if you opened a, you opened a cupboard in a, a cleaning cupboard, you've got uh, like a hundred different chemicals. This is going to cover cover your bases with all of these different chemicals. Then we come down and we start looking at uh, liver function. So this is boosting the detoxification organ. We've got kidney function here. This is also boosting the detoxification organ. Cleanse blood when we're moving all, all of this toxicity out of the cells. So most of these things are stored in, in the actual cell when the body doesn't have the space to detoxify them. So when we do this, we're pulling them all out into the blood. So we then need to clean blood. After it comes out into the blood, the kidneys and the liver are going to start having, having to filter that out of the body. So we go back to kidney and liver. So here we're boosting liver function and kidney function. And then we're cleansing the blood, which is moving this back into the, to the liver and kidneys to be removed from the body. And then we've got kidney and liver talking, so we're supporting that process. Only at this point, so this is day 10, okay? So we're all the way up to day 10. We haven't, we haven't really focused on parasites yet. So let's say parasites and liver function here. There's not really many parasites in this part. You do start to get some parasites up here. This is on day 10. This is the second half of day 10. So this program really doesn't include as much 
parasite as you you might want. So after we've done that, then we clean the lymphatic system. So that's like the drainage to which this within the body. So once we've done this, the body's in a pretty clean, clean space to be able to handle explicitly. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build a program that's going to target. So I actually have a list here. We're going to be targeting the organisms H. pylori, EBV, Lyme, B. Babesia, Salmonella, a variety of different ones and flukes. It's quite handy to have this software because all I, all I really need to do is go in here, type worms. It's going to give me a load of different types of worms, eggs of worms, all of these different things. So I can just cook worms. So I can just I can just have a field day just adding all of these different things to my we can do a variety of different worms and flukes. We're doing candida, gut based candida, um, fungal infections, and systemic candida. We're doing blastocystis, mycoplasma, marcons, strep throat, and we've also had a request to add HPV, so that's human papillomavirus. So, somebody that's joining me for this program will have to add that in, so I'm just going to add that in for them. So, what we do now, we're going to create a custom program, so we need to make sure this is empty. And come up here and we start at the top. So let's start with H. pylori. All right, sometimes stuff doesn't come up. It can be very specific. Now, there we go. And that's giving us the answer. So here in the in the in the programs here, it's not called H. pylori. It's called Heliobacter pylori. So that's why it wasn't coming up. So instead, we will now go from here and we will add a few of these in. Looking at this, so what I'm trying to do with this program is create something that is able to loop every 24 hours because I'm trying to build this program so that it is going to loop around the lunar cycle. So we're going to want to make sure that we target every single organism at least once every single day because through the, the lunar cycle, different organisms and different parasites, they go through different stages of their their reproductive life cycle and they're vulnerable in different stages so i want to make sure that we're targeting every organism at least once every single day so we're going to target every organism at different stages through the life cycle so if i was making a program for somebody and it didn't have to be like this i would just add all of these frequencies in. they're all going to be helpful however in this case i think our best option is going to be for me to add these ones and this is going to add so this 40 minutes half an hour 12, 12, 12 minutes. So this is going to add about an hour and a half into the program. So on average, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus a bunch of ones and flutes. So we're only going to be able to have between 30 minutes to an hour on average for each, each organism. So the thing is, H. pylori, there's a, a, a large selection of frequencies because this is, this is quite a big problem, quite a common problem. Some of these aren't so common. So, for example, blastocystis probably doesn't have a common frequency, but we'll see. So, let's try the next one, EBV. So, sometimes you can just have EBV and it will come up. So, here we've got EBV 1, 2, 3. Again, this is quite a long program. This one's 90 minutes, this one's 24 minutes, this is 18 minutes. Over here, you get to see the frequencies that are associated with, with, these, these, um, with this program that I'm adding in. So, this, this program here, you can create custom programs where you add the numbers in by yourself. However, the database is really cool because it correlates all of the frequencies and all the illnesses that are associated with EBV and collects them all and just you just have a program here. So I don't have to go through and do that. I can just click here. So EBV, EBV 1, 2, and 3. There are other frequencies here, like there's EBV infections, secondary. There's all of these ones down here as well. Not necessary. If I was creating a program for somebody that just wanted to target EBV, we would be just going in with all of the EBV. EBV frequency to make sure we cover every single band. I find usually this will this will be more than that. So next one we've got Lyme. This one I'm expecting is probably going to take up more more space in. So this is a cool one here, Babesia Lyme. We're going to have Babesia and we're having Lyme, so I'm just going to stick this one because this one covers two. So that's that's fine. You can see here Lyme is actually a Borrelia. Borrelia is the name of the actual organism. So you've got this is these are the ones I would go for here. So this one, this one, this one. See here, this one, 153 minutes. That's a very long time. That's gonna stretch out the length of the program quite a bit. So you can see if I was doing a custom line program, look at all of these different line associated frequencies. So I would go through and based on symptomology and maybe if we look at functional testing and we know which 
subspecies of one they actually have, like which code infections they have specifically, we can build something that's more uh, specific based on testing or something like that. So, um, because Lime is a really, really good one. So, lots of people have made their own custom programs that they have been able to add to the database. I usually find, as I said, just, just this one. Just this one. Just this one. Or maybe line one, two, three, four would be would be great. So next we're going to go with some another. This one's probably going to be quite small, I would imagine. So let's go. A little look through here. Some of this is intuition as well. Just seeing which one I feel is going to be. Well, I think in this case it's going to be this one. Is it? Get a little um, description down here you can see. So these ones are connected to typhoid. That's not really what we're going for. So what we're going for with this would be I'm going to go with these ones. These ones are called food poisoning. We're not targeting specifically food poisoning. What can happen is if you get food poisoning and your body isn't able to to recover properly. So maybe you take Dyrolite or you take some kind of anti diarrhea medication. The infection actually sets our camp and lives inside it and can cause chronic diet. So what we're trying to do here is clear this potential chronic diet. This is a very, very common. Salmonella is a strain of E. coli. So you can have you can have some somewhat pathogenic species of of E. coli that, that, that causes salmonella. So there are specific species of E. coli and they're just they're just not good, good for our health. They can cause chronic health. So I think if you scroll down here you may see some associated symptoms. Things like digestive upsets, diarrhea, chronic fatigue, these can all be connected to the no, nothing's coming here. So that's fine. So now we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to do the next one I had was worms and flukes. We're gonna we're gonna do that one at the end so I can see how much space we have. The next we're gonna go to Blastocystus. This is the exact one we're going for here. So I think so I'm looking at the, these two here, you'll see. These are all, these are both actually exactly the same, apart from these two are different. So it wouldn't make much sense to have both. So I wouldn't do that because that's just going to take up space in the generator. We don't really want to do that. So you know, like this one, this one, and this one. Uh, this one. Looking at the different frequencies that are available here and the length of time that it's going to take up. So next one, we've got microplasma. Mycoplasma is connected to so many different health problems. So this is going to be one that is, this is something that if somebody has a mycoplasma infection, I would usually target all specifically based on symptoms. Look at all of these different types of, of mycoplasma. So this is depending on different areas that you find them in the body. Yeah. The thing about mycoplasma is it's really tricky to treat with antibiotics because mycoplasma is sort of like a, a hybrid between a, it's like a bacteria that doesn't really have a cell wall, and most antibiotics work by destroying the cell wall function of the bacteria. But they don't. Mycoplasma doesn't have that, so you can't target it through the same mechanism. That's why my resonance is a really very often. So, I think we're going to go with. We're going to, we're going to go basic. It's a ninety-three minute program. So this is a pretty. This is this is going to cover most of the bases. And um, I'll take a look. There's a general one here as well, but this is taking up quite a lot of. So I'm not going to add them. Here's one that I could add. But again, here, mycoplasma Lyme disease. I'm kind of tempted to add this one. Lyme disease is something we're also focused on. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to add this one. So next we've got Marcons. Hopefully it comes up as Marcons. I don't know. I actually do think that's quite the full name. So this should be fun. So it's coagulase negative staphylococcus. So let's just try. Stuff 
this looks like a nice one here. Staphylococcal and streptococcal infections. That's, that looks really nice. Seven, eight minutes, quite long, but it does have a, a big, big frequency sweep. So I kind of like the looks of this one. As you see, there are a lot of others here. So as you see, we've got aureus. So this is a this is one that's usually a, a skin a skin infection. You usually see see staph aureus as a skin infection. So if you were facing with this this kind of problem, you would maybe go through and do a sweep of all these different frequencies here. I think for for this, we're going with this one. Okay. So the reason that I went with with this one is we've got. I'm trying to cover staphylococcus infections and streptococcus infections. This one does both, and it's a general product, so it's quite nice. So even though it's 78 minutes, it's not, it's not going to be too much. So, so over here, we've got estimated total runtime. We're at 13 hours, 40 minutes. So we do still have maybe, I really do want to keep it under 24 hours at a maximum, but the smaller I can keep it, the better, because it means it's going to loop more. It's going to get more repetitions. Which means we're going to be targeting these these organisms that we are that we have included here more frequently. So now I just need to add HPV, and then we're going to go to the bars. Um, you can see lots of different types. So if we were doing something specifically, you may have a diagnosis, you may have some kind of lab testing that gives us a better indication of which ones are going to be better for you. Or if this is something we were doing in person, we could do a biofeedback scan. So we could run all of these frequencies through the body, measure the body's response, and see how it responds to the different frequencies. And that way the body identifies what frequencies are going to be better. That isn't something I'm able to do remotely, but that's something that you could do with a bioresonance practitioner near you. And then you could either have them create a program for you, and you could do that with them. Or you could get that, that data, see what frequencies your body likes, Give that information to me and I can create your program as well. So you've got a lot of options with this. You can even buy your own machine. I bought my own machine so that I could do exactly this. And well, here we are. So this is a tricky one for me. I'm not exactly sure which ones I'm going to go with. There's a lot of variability. I think I'm going to go with this one. This one. This one may be interesting as well, STD comprehensive. So it isn't just HPV, it's also including HIV, chlamydia, syphilis, gonorrhea, and herpes. It could be very interesting. I think I'm not, I think I'm not going to add that one in, but I'm interested by this one. It'd be very interesting to see that sometimes when you, when you apply frequencies, you have a chronic underlying infection that causes a flare up. So it'd be quite interesting to see, see what would happen in that case. So I'm just going to stick with those two. Papilloma and papilloma. Couple other virus infection. We just going to that. So now, go to one. This one. So we're going to target eggs. So we're targeting the eggs life size, life size, life cycle stage. So we're going to go for that one straight away. Really interesting detox pesticides. So this is really, really interesting. This is what. This is exactly why we run the spooky brain first. Because a lot of worms hold toxins for us, and pesticides are a really good example. So if you try to kill the worms and you haven't you haven't detoxed your body enough, you haven't run the drain protocol first to create some space, when you kill the organisms and the toxins are released, it makes you feel really bad. So this is why we run that terrain protocol at the beginning. We try to reduce the unpleasant symptoms that are associated with the parasite bite. So I'm just going to have a bit of a field day with these. I just want to be, I want to be very thorough. All right, I'll cover a lot of these. I'm going to add a little bit of everything. Good one, that's our spawn. Part worms, cool, that's our dart. Worms, that was the one that was requested, so definitely going to make sure that's in there. Blood flukes, yep. That one, that was also requested, so they're going in there too. It's general, that's a very good idea. So that here, here's what I was really looking for. This is what I really like. They create generalized frequency sweeps of, of really common myths. So I don't have to go through and pick them all apart. I can just find all of these these general ones. So I can just go general, general two, general four, and I'm gonna try and find general three. Not the same so it is. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. general. I spell it without P. Okay, so a minute. Wow. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do one of those. I like the terms. We're going to add one, two, basic, basic one and two, main and main one. I would also like to find, you can see there's so much. This is why this software can be extremely overwhelming. You can see this and just get what am I supposed to do with this? That's all I have done with the computer. Please, please. And I'll tell that again. So, okay, no, our runtime is now come up to 30 hours. So I'm going to have to cut some things down. Okay, we will cut. Most of the, the, these lines are going to be included in these big programs. That one. So they will keep this, this bag straight, you can see. I don't want to get rid of any more. I want to keep all of these. So this is 25 hours. This is slightly longer than I intended it to be. But there's nothing in here I really want to get rid of. I want all of these. So that's going to be my executive judgment. We're going to go slightly over. So that's not, not necessarily a problem. It just means we're going to, we're only going to be targeting slightly over once a day. I don't think that that will have a negative effect on the on the overall outcome of the program, especially because of the level of diversity that they're able to achieve here with having these ones here. Like so this one, let's take a look here. I want to see this parasite comment. So you, when you have the names of them, you have to be, you have to get it exactly. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't, so some of these programs, they have more details. So it tells you what all these individual frequencies are. It doesn't say that in this one. So, so this program is now being created. So what you do now is you click save. Save as a custom program. So this will be parasites. So program. Or whenever you're making a program, it's always a very good idea to leave the data. So 22nd, and uh, two. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's 22, 22. Nice. It's also the autumn economics today. So that's that's interesting. So all of the frequencies, this is the frequency list here. So this is all of the frequencies. So what I'm going to do, excuse me, what I'm going to do now is save this program. This computer that I'm doing this recording on and creating the program on is not actually the, the computer that I run this with. My, I have another computer, I call it a mule, that is just for, for working my Google 2 machine. So what I'll do now is I will create a copy of this program that I just created, put it on a, on a little, um, little memory stick, put it over on the other machine, load it up on the other machine, and then we will load it up on the generator. So the process of doing this is going to look like so you see, just so you have an idea of what it looks like. So we come back onto the home page here. We go into, we're going to be using shell and presets. We go. These are the different area waves and frequencies. So for this, we're going to be doing, as this is all about parasite killing, I'm actually going to go with killing. Usually I like to use a more, a, gen, a more gentle, more gentle option here. I would usually either go with kill or heal, which is a good option if you're not sure which way to go. Or there is the golden ratio one, which I quite like. This, we're going to be going with killing view. So we're going to go with this one. Obviously, they're not actually running this one, which is what we're going to be doing this. And looking over here, program. As you can see, now it isn't here. So we need to make sure we load the program. So we should just be able to type it in here and scroll all the way to the bottom. 
here is our custom program. So I load this in and we see these are all of the frequencies. So you can search it just from this is the so this is the name of the program. That's the keyword that I use to search for this. And new programs are always at the bottom. So if you ever make a new program you can't find it, you would think it would save to the top, but it doesn't. It always saves at the bottom. It always scrolls out from the bottom. One, two here. I don't have any generators plugged in, but I would connect to the generator that I have, and then we would start running it. And then the frequencies would be being applied. So, everything. Well, that's interesting here. It says total runtime is only 11 hours and 48. So, that's actually, that's actually, that's actually very good. I really would like it to be, if we can get two cycles in a day, that's perfect. So, that would be 12 hours. So, 11 hours, 40 minutes. Absolutely perfect, not actually the way that I intended it to do it, but better than, better than I'd aimed for. So I was trying to keep it below 48, I managed, I was trying to keep it below 24, I managed to keep it below 12, so that's easy. So, yeah, that's everything. If you're interested in joining this program, if you want to feel what it's like to go through the terrain protocol and you want to have all of these frequencies in here apply to you, I am still open to adding extra frequencies as well. So as you can see, we've got, we've got some wiggle room. So if there's not something in here that you want added, I'm sure that there's probably one that I forgot. I'm going to create. That. So the way that I do this is I create a group chat on Facebook Messenger. I'll add everybody in, and I'll I'll be able to see if I've missed anything. So people can tell me, oh yeah, I said I wanted this, and you didn't put it in there. And then it's like, okay, cool. So then all I need to do is just load this program up, add the new frequencies, save it as a new program, and then that's the one that we'll go with. So if you want to join this and you you you, you want you want to get all of these frequencies, so if you're having problems with any of these organisms. Just reach out, let me know, you can come and join the program. The, the way that I structure this is the 11 day uh, detox at the beginning. If you're just interested in that, uh, I would suggest that if you are in quite an ill, uh, an Ill state of health, because going through and parasites can be quite intense. You just want to start with the 11 day program, I do that for 50 euros. And this full program, this all of these frequencies here, running for a full lunar cycle, so we're going all the way from uh, a new moon to another new moon. So we're we're making sure that we cover full life cycle of all of these different organ organisms because they have different vulnerabilities at different different stages in the cycle. The cost for this program is 250, 250 euros. And this also includes 11 days at the beginning where we do the 11 day detox. Because it's a really good idea just to make sure your body is as clean as possible before we go through and clear, clear out all of these organisms. So Hope you found this interesting. Hope this gives you an idea of what this is actually like. And if you have your own spooky too, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of how to actually do this. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to join the program, also just reach out and let me know. I'd be really happy to have you. I can only take 10 people at a time for one of these programs because I only have so much space in the generator. Alongside this, with all of these, these frequencies that I'm going to have running, I'm also going to create another program that I'm going to be running simultaneously with support and detox frequencies. Organ entrainment frequencies, things to help with processing the toxin load as it is as the parasites are uh, being killed. It's gonna it's gonna be similar to the eleven day detox that we run at the beginning, but I'm also gonna be running this in line with the actual parasite plans as we're going. So I need I, I can only take half as many people. I can only take ten people for this. I already have four people signed up, so if you want to take one of those remaining six seats, I have I have like ten people already interested. I'm just waiting for the them to decide that they want to join me for this this cycle. If it's really a first come first serve kind of thing, so if you're interested, make sure you let me know as soon as possible. Get your payments sent over, and you can starting on the 25th of September. It is the 22nd, and we close applications on the day before. So you have so we close on the 23rd. So you basically have a day. So if you have any questions or if you're interested in joining, please just reach out and let me know. I'd love to help you. Hope this has been interesting. Hope it's been helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.